In this video, we will prove an interesting inequality involving an infinite sum. Specifically, we will show that the sum of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1, from n equals 1 to infinity, is bounded between the expression 2 pi plus 1 divided by 4 and the number 2. We'll begin by establishing the upper bound, followed by a derivation of the lower bound. Let's begin by using the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, also known as the AMGM inequality, to help us bound each term in the summation. By the AMGM inequality, we know that n plus n plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of n times n plus 1. This implies that 2 times n plus 1 minus 1 is greater than 2 times the square root of n times n plus 1. Or equivalently, we can say that 2 divided by the square root of n minus 2 divided by the square root of n plus 1 is greater than 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1. Thus, the sum of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1 is bounded above by a telescoping series. The sum from n equals 1 to n of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1 is less than the sum from n equals 1 to n of 2 divided by the square root of n minus 2 divided by the square root of n plus 1. This simplifies to 2 minus 2 divided by the square root of n plus 1. As n approaches infinity, the sum approaches 2. Therefore, the infinite series is less than 2. Now, let's focus on the lower bound by comparing our sum to an integral. We approximate the sum of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1 using the function 1 over the square root of x times x plus 1. We compare the sum with the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x times x plus 1. This integral provides a lower bound for the sum. To compute this integral, we perform a substitution. Let the square root of x be u, so x equals u squared, and dx equals 2u do. Substitute into the integral to get the integral of 2u divided by u times u squared plus 1, with respect to u. After simplifying, this becomes 2 times the inverse tangent of u, evaluated from 1 to infinity. The result is 2 times pi over 2 minus pi over 4. Thus, the integral evaluates to pi over 2, providing a lower bound. We can refine this lower bound by considering the area under the curve and the sum of the areas of small rectangles, as depicted in the diagram.
By diagram comparison, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1 is greater than the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x times x plus 1, plus 1 half times 1 half. This equals pi over 2, plus 1 half of 1 half, which simplifies to 2 pi plus 1 divided by 4. Therefore, the sum is bounded below by 2 pi plus 1 divided by 4. Now, let's take a closer look at these bounds. The expression 2 pi plus 1 divided by 4 is approximately 1.82. On the other hand, the actual value of the infinite sum we are working with, which is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of n times n plus 1, is approximately 1.86, as calculated using Wolfram Alpha, we've successfully shown that the infinite sum is bounded between 2 pi plus 1 divided by 4 and 2, with the actual sum being close to 1.86. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out more videos on interesting inequalities and other mathematical concepts.